Here is the Alibaba Group. There are several company, up to nine maybe. So uh, the one uh, just with, in the picture is the founder of Alibaba Group. So Taobao is just one of the companies belong to the group. Uh, this group was founded, uh, was founded in 1999 by Jack Ma and uh, another 17 persons. Uh, right now, uh, Alibaba is the leading e-commerce platform provider in China. The, maybe, maybe not only in China, maybe the, the, the leading one in Asia. And uh, in this year, one of the public company we call the Alibaba.com just to go in private. So right now, the whole group are private company. For Taobao.com, uh, just this year, this company divided into three companies. One is Taobao, Taobao.com. It's a C2C, the custom to custom online retail company. One is uh, Tmall. Tmall is the uh, uh, just the, 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 the business took a uh, custom uh, online retail company and another one is uh, Etao. Etao is a search engine. Uh, this search engine is uh, different from uh, Google and Badu because uh, uh, Etao just uh, search for the goods on the internet. Just comparing what's the different price, uh, uh, price and the information among different online e-commerce company so people can just uh, choose maybe the cheapest or maybe the, the one with the most reliable, trusted one to buy online. So uh, Taobao uh, is founded in 2003 by Alibaba Group. Uh, right now, it's, uh, last year, it's uh, 1,000 billion RMB, just the sales volume last year. And uh, just on the date of uh, November 11, it makes it make the two point five point two billion RMB for the daily sales volume. That's big. That's maybe maybe uh, at least three times more than Hong Kong. Yeah. In the, right now, the, the company is uh, private, but there is a price in the out of counter market. In the past two years, the price of the stock uh, increased uh, two hundred percent. Yes. In order to support such a huge online uh, business, uh, there are more than 40,000 hardware machines uh, to, survive, uh, to, to run online system. This number, is, uh, this number is early this year or maybe late last year. So I, I'm not authorized to, to post the latest number. Uh, and most of the system are open source based. From this page, you can, you can see that a lot of uh, open source project icons. We use, uh, we use uh, Squid, MySquare, Hadoop, KVM, Zen, OpenJDK, Sheepdog, a lot of. Uh, especially the first uh, three, the TFS, TNG, and Tear, they are open source project uh, sponsored by Taobao. Especially uh, TFS, TFS right now store all the picture of all the online goods just uh, for Taobao. It's a very important uh, distributed storage file system. And the T-Engine just a clone of uh, uh, NGX because we have uh, quite a few patches which uh, NGX did not, did not merge upstream. So we have to clone uh, another project just to keep these patches uh, online. Uh, and news yesterday, I know that another very important uh, online retail uh, website, we, we call that uh, uh, three, three, six, uh, zero buy com. Uh, they also use uh, T Engine for their send up uh, 3W30s. And uh, another is uh, the Tear. Tear is the key value uh, catch system just uh, modified from uh, MemCatchD. So here is some interesting number for workload from Taobao. This number, uh, this number is, is from, from November 11th of uh, 2010. Uh, we, we can see uh, the, the up, okay. Uh, the first line of the picture, just the, the work throughput, uh, work network throughput for the whole year. And uh, the second line of the picture, just the, the network uh, throughput for that day. 
the day we call the、uh, Singles Day, because November 11, all the date is one 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 one. So we encourage people single. If you don't have, the, if you have, if you have a lot of time, then you 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 have no others to to waste the time. Just to use the time to buy something online. Yeah. So this is a big promotion. You can find out that the workload on that day it's much much higher than other days. Maybe ten times higher. So especially、uh, this picture. The white one, you can see there is the peak. This peak is around、uh, zero o'clock maybe, because at that time there is a promotion action, so a lot of people just、uh, pushed into the website. So we we can observe here the peak. So on that day,、uh, so last year the same day, there are one point a billion page views. That's a lot of traffic. And、uh, the the whole cache system just、uh, take on more than 800 gigabyte, a gigabit, gigabit per second, per second, <laughs> for the network、uh, traffic. And、uh, we we use、uh, yeah, in order to take on so much traffic, we use、uh, more than 40k,、uh, more than 40,000 servers running Linux. So, yeah, from the workload, people can find out that、uh, if there is no optimization, the capital expenditure and、uh, the operation expenditure will very easy to reach the number of revenue. Very easy. So all possible optimization are appreciated、uh, from architecture, from application, from、uh, system level. Including software and hardware, we just looking for every possible method to decrease the the cost. So, any tiny improvement is great in large scale system. For example, maybe one person、uh, uh, one person to performance improve means、uh, millions of RMB, maybe tens of millions. Just an example. So. So that's why Taobao、uh, contribute to open source and、uh, hire some people to maintain the open source software, improve them, and uh, uh, feedback the patches. So Linux kernel is a full stone in a whole software、uh, stack. So、uh, that's why、uh, this company is willing to sponsor people to work on Linux kernel. Especially、uh, can post the patches back to community.、Uh, at that time, I mean, when I joined this company, this is not、uh, very common behavior among the Chinese company. Yeah, so there, there is some important date for 2009 September. Wen Songzhang, Wen Songzhang is the author of LVS. Right now, it's IPVS. He joined Taobao as the VP of Engineering.、Uh, at that time,、uh, he initialized the, the idea to build a Linux kernel, and then he started to looking for people. And the next year, I just received a phone call from him.、Uh, I just、uh, asked some requirements. One is、uh, every patch we are able to、uh, send it back to community. Second is.、Uh, Any time, anywhere, we can、uh, share what we think, what we do to anybody else. So、uh, this requirement、uh, was not common at that time, and the CTO of this company just、uh, approved. So I think it's interesting just to make a little bit change. So maybe we have a chance to make the first Chinese local company join kernel community seriously. I mean seriously. So,、uh, 2010 June, I joined this company, and、uh, I'm the first employee of a Linux kernel team, and、I、start to recruit and build a kernel team. So right now, uh, uh, up to two years, we have ten persons, including me.、Uh, most of、uh, new graduated. We have、uh, three persons have experience. And others just、uh, transfer internally, or we recruit from campus. 
this this picture just uh, show the timeline and how many people will increase. So uh, in twenty in twenty eleven, just around uh, May and uh, July, just the student graduated from a university. So you can see we just increase the people number. Especially, we have a girl. We have a girl, because uh, even in the worldwide. The women uh, enjoying the current development is it, not very common. So we are looking for every chance to encourage girls to join the company. And uh, fortunately, we have one. Yeah, even this kind of contribution to community. We uh, indeed after this girl joined our team, another company also uh, hires another girl in their company to work on the current development. That company is uh, Tencent. Maybe, maybe someone here should know. The second uh, big internet company in the world, the first one is Google, the second is uh, Tencent. Oops. This is the picture for the whole team. Just, I, I just took the picture before I depart from Beijing. So, yeah, they're very young, including me. Sorry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we just stand in the side cursor. So. so you can see that uh, uh, different uh, subsystem we are working on. Uh, the major, the major duty of me is I just uh, take care of everyone, make them happy, and enjoy working on kernel development. And another guy, Tao, Tao just uh, helped me to lead the people to 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 go in the uh, correct direction, and I just uh, try to promote. Our project, uh, the output is just a kernel RPM. Just promote the RPM in, internally to different application, persuade people to use our uh, kernel, and uh, improve the performance of their uh, system. So we have people working on EST4, OverlayFS, a network, CPU scheduler, C group, and LXC, Linux container uh, uh, performance counter, especially perf. And uh, Shipdog. Shipdog is special. Um, this is not a totally kernel uh, project, but uh, the, this is a very useful and a powerful distributed storage system for uh, virtual machine images. So it's a kind of related to the to, to, to system level, so we also include this one in the kernel team. So we have uh, several major projects, several major uh, clusters inside. One is a CDN, a content delivery network. Another is a Hadoop. We use Hadoop for the offline data mining. And uh, TFS, that's uh, a lot of maybe, maybe at least I know it, uh, more than one billion, more than one billion, maybe much more than one billion good pictures stored on the TFS. It's around. It's around uh, 13 terabyte, per, maybe, the, 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 the whole size of all the pictures. And uh, we have a search internally and externally. Internally, just a search to search different uh, goods uh, that people sell on Taobao.com or Tmall.com. And external search, just a search uh, the similar goods uh, are sold among different websites, just comparing the price. And we have database. Right now, uh, two years ago, we used Oracle. And after two years' effort, we just replaced Oracle with the MySQL. So right now, even the very important key database for online transaction, we use uh, MySQL. And there is a Java machines. The so Java machine, uh, all the business logical are written in Java application and all the Java application running in uh, virtual machines. So it's, 
maybe around uh, 15,000 or 16,000 uh, virtual machines just around different uh, kind of uh, business logic. So all of these uh, uh, application job clusters uh, just cover more than 60% of the hardware machines in the whole company. So we just focus on these major applications uh, that's much enough. Because even we, we, we have uh, enough big testing bed and uh, we have uh, encountered enough much problem to fix. So once uh, this internal custom is uh, satisfied with the kernel, the rest just follow. So to serve for these applications, we related the many, uh, we just touched many different uh, subsystem of the kernel, including the file system, memory, memory management network, uh, I.O. and a CPU scheduler, performance counter, debug, trees, a KVM, a ship dock, and a kernel building a package. Kernel building the package is very important because we have a patch, we have code, how to uh, integrate the, the everything into a procedure. And uh, we output uh, a kernel RPM, and the people can install or update the RPM automatically for all the online system. Indeed, we learn this from OpenSUSE. I, I will mention later. So for our effort to kernel maintenance, we have uh, several very simple principles. The first, cooperate with community. A second, open all patches. We open all the patches. We open our product kernel tree to internet. Everybody can access, but we, we, we don't provide a binary because uh, th this kernel tree is based on Red Hat kernel tree. So I, I feel that if we provide the, the kernel binary with the uh, brand of Red Hat, there are some legal risk. So people, if, we, if people want to use the patches, they just use the patches. Even they can download all the kernel tree uh, to build a RPM with RPM build, but we don't provide the binary. And if, if something existing, we, we, we don't rewrite it, we use it. And if something's under developing, and we, we find someone is working on it, we help. We help to test, we help to review the code, improve some bugs. And if some feature that we want not existing and no one else care about it and we do need it, we work on it. And the benefit uh, for contribute back to kernel community is uh, the first, we, we, we can have less in-house patches to, to, to rebase if we just update the kernel versions. Uh, fortunately, right now, we, we can rebase the, kernel, the whole kernel within one week. That's very fast, in my opinion. Uh, otherwise, that, yes, we, we just have a little, we have uh, not so much patches, maybe a, no more than 200 patches. So every time when the OS vendor update their version, we can see that around, uh, around no more than 20, maybe around 20 patches merged into the vendor's kernel. So we can just remove these patches from our internal kernel tree. And more eyes can, can focus on the code to review to find the box that maybe we didn't find out, maybe something that Maybe we call a function that which is obsolete already, something like this, and just increase the impact in the industry for the company, for the employer uh, who pay money for us. So from here, I will introduce some, just a little part of the work we have done in the past two years uh, in the kernel side. One, this is very interesting that the buffer AIO. Uh, we all know that uh, AIO is uh, direct IO right now in its kernel. If people want to catch the whole data, they must maintain their own user space uh, catch library. Uh, but for internet company, people just want to write the program very fast. And they, they, don't, they don't need to pay so much time to write a perfect program. 
maybe the program just online for no, no more than one year. Just that this project, people have no interest in this. So for the buffer AIO, no user space catch management code necessary, and uh, people can just uh, hold uh, the, the whole data in kernel page catch. And uh, there, is, uh, there is a little performance penalty, but uh, it's uh, acceptable. I will show that later in the next page. And uh, the modification is very easy to use. People don't need to change any of the program logic, just do two things. One is uh, when, when, when they open the file, do not use uh, the direct flag. Another is uh, just uh, when they call the uh, I'll submit, just then um, set, uh, set the AIO opcode 9. Just, just two. Why 9? Because right now, oh, when we check the source code, uh, there are eight magic numbers. And uh, right now, we, th this patch is still not upstream, so we don't modify the libIO. Just, just a symbol. So right now, just the nine. Maybe some days later, it's got upstream that we can just modify, send a patch uh, for a symbol with nine to the libio. Uh, this patch we worked with the T Engine team for the download service, just uh, for people to download some uh, uh, web page combined with uh, uh, Java, PHP, something like this, the HTML. Just download that in the CSS just for this uh, service. And the Barfail have a lot of, maybe many other benefits. One is uh, there is no memory alignment requirement. So kind of it can save some memory in user space. And uh, people don't need to maintain the user space uh, cache library, so this can make uh, uh, the user space application development a little bit faster, and uh, if they want, if they want to use the kernel page cache, currently uh, people have to use multiple uh, synchronized I/O threads, uh, but with the buffer I/O, only one thread is okay. So next page, I will show some number. Okay. The first line to picture uh, the delay comparison. Uh, between uh, buffer AIO and the native AIO. Uh, the left one we can see, the right one is okay. Right one is, is catch hint. I just, uh, we, we just compared the catch miss. Uh, for the hard disk, IO on hard disk, we can see that the, the latency almost, uh, almost the same, almost the same. And uh, in, order to, in order to show how much the delay should be, we just uh, do the same thing on a RAM disk. We can see that uh, the, the delay is really very tiny. It's uh, around one or two microseconds. Yeah. Uh, for a line system, one or two microseconds for the whole network uh, traffic is can be, even it can be ignored. Because uh, we, we expect it uh, when people want to view the page, the page can be returned within one second. So one microsecond can be ignored. Uh, the second line of the picture is uh, we just compare the buffer AIO and the uh, synchronized buffer IO. You, people can see that uh, just the one buffer AIO thread can reach the similar IOPS and uh, just with the similar delay to up to 16 multi threads of uh, synchronized I.O. Uh, from the number, we can see that we can reach 98.8% of the IOPS just uh, with 1.3% delay, just uh, more. That's acceptable. Especially uh, for the online monitor system, the, the, the operation people use the average load to, to, to mirror whether the system is, uh, load is too high. Just use one thread to replace a 16 thread, the load can decrease dramatically. So application people happy, operation people happy. This one is uh, we use no journal EST4 on online catch system. It's, it's very easy to find out that uh, for the first picture, 
we can see that uh, after replace the uh, EST2 with EST4 without the journal, uh, we can save around 25% uh, memory for buffer cache uh, because we have less uh, metadata cache in memory. And uh, for the second and the third picture, we can see that uh, comparing to EST2, EST4 can reduce a lot of uh, IOs and uh, hard disk utility. The, the last picture is very important. Uh, this is how we measure uh, how many IOs are used when the system access one catch object. So before we use uh, EST2, uh, if the catch system want to provide uh, one picture access, uh, they, has to, they have to do around 2.5 IOs every time. So after we, re we replaced it with uh, EST4 and uh, used the F advice uh, in the application, the number decreased to almost one. Even we ob uh, observed uh, 0 uh, 0.89 IOs for per object because there is some someone hot in the memory. Yeah, here is the EST4 big allocate and inline data. The big, big, allocator, uh, big allocator means that uh, uh, right now, if people want to, to allocate some data, the minimal uh, unit is not uh, 4 k byte anymore. It's uh, maybe 32 uh, or 64 uh, k byte. And this patch is uh, initialized by Tetro from Google. So once we find this, uh, we think it's very useful for Hadoop and for catch system. So we help Google uh, current team to test the code and uh, report some problem, uh, help to fix some bugs. Uh, and we just, just during the testing, we found that if, if, there, are, if there is a directory tree, directory tree, uh, but uh, it's not very big, but uh, with a lot of uh, subdirectories, uh, in this case, just that the application create uh, so many directories will occupy all the disk space because every small directory they will use uh, 32 or uh, 64 uh, KB disk block. So we, we just developed the inline data. If the directory is small, this directory block can be in line to the inode of the directory. So this method save a lot of uh, disk space. So we can use uh, the big alloc on Hadoop or Squid. So here's some number that we just observed from the align real workload from a CDN application. Uh, we can see that uh, the they maybe they provide maybe one percent uh, space of the media available to application to use because the big allocation just uh, reduce the, the, the fixed allocation for metadata. Maybe most of the time the metadata does not use all the time, but they just uh, take the disk space. So right now we just can reduce some metadata and uh, reallocate this metadata to the regular data. Uh, and uh, we, we decrease the buffer cache usage around 15%. That's a lot of money, uh, there's a lot of uh, memory and uh, money, especially when we use them uh, low power uh, machine with less memory. That's very helpful. And uh, for the LPS, we can see that uh, for read, decrease uh, or around 5%, uh, for write, decrease 21%, yeah. Another important is for the T calls and the calls file flags. T calls and the calls is just a, uh, just a terms uh, used in uh, Squid application. It doesn't matter. Just a very big file. Uh, before we use big allocate, uh, the T calls file has uh, 141 flags and the calls have 132. After we use uh, big allocate, the T calls uh, decrease to five and the calls decrease to 
41. Yeah, that's very helpful because uh, we have less uh, fragmentation, so we can have less extent in the metadata. So most of the time, we can make all the metadata in line. And for the metadata hot in line, which means that uh, there is less possibility for the metadata to be reclaimed back to the disk. So we can save uh, more IOs for metadata when they access the regular data. And FSC key. Uh, without uh, uh, a big allocate, it's uh, around 2,000 seconds. And with the big allocate, just uh, 450 seconds. First, uh, firstly, we we just are waiting for this uh, number, but uh, operation people told us uh, they were very happy with this number because if the data center just uh, power lost and everything should should be back to online, the FSCK will spend a lot of time. For this feature, they can reduce uh, they, they they can just reduce time to. First, uh, the one sevens maybe from the number, so they are very happy with this feature because they can decrease the FSC time. Oh, this is the important bug fix. Uh, we work on Hadoop. Want to make the job on Hadoop spend less time, but. Uh, People think that the uh, new kernel, uh, there is the feature uh, adaptive uh, read ahead in new kernel, I mean, comparing to 2.6.18. Two, two, uh, but we observed that uh, every 42 KB bytes, the read ahead will stop. That, that's strange, because we set the, the read ahead window to one megabyte. Why every 42 KB? So we just uh, Check the code again, and again. So finally, we found there is a bug. So every 14 pages, the last one sometimes maybe hotter than other ones. So in the memory pressure, the previous uh, 13 pages may be reclaimed back to memory, and the last one just uh, stay in memory. So next time when how people want to do some uh, sequential read, they just uh, read the uh, the first uh, 13, uh, 13 pages into memory, and the, the last one, because this still stay in memory, so the I/O have to stop, and uh, skip one page, continue to read an another 13 pages. So this bug is introduced by uh, PageRank. So we, we, we sent out a, a bug fix, and uh, someone just feedback, and maybe the proper fix is just to remove PageRank from the kernel. <laughs> so this fix is not upstream yet, but after we apply this patch internally on the 12 machines uh, cluster, we run a Hadoop terabyte test, uh, test case. We can see that there are around 12.9% uh, time less. And the, the latest number is for 100 machine, 100 machine cluster uh, to run the real workload. We observe 1% time just decreased. People are very happy because this one person, they, they, they don't pay any money, don't buy any new hardware. They just uh, apply a patch. So they are very happy. This is an interesting project initialized by a member from my team. Uh, the project called SKB Trace. Uh, this guy, because uh, mm, some experienced guy in this team, they are, for, uh, they are from file system development community. So we always use the block trees to, to, to trace the IO behavior. And this guy just uh, think, uh, why you can use the block trees and I cannot use something to trace the network behavior. So this guy just write a problem called the SKB trace. Just, I guess maybe a socket, socket buffer trace, something like this. Uh, this, 
This is the trace infrastructure for network subsystem. Uh, there are two user space applications called SKB trace and SKB pass, similar to block trace and block pass. Uh, it's very useful to, to trace the network package behavior. Uh, here is the here is a picture of the output of this problem uh, of this program. You can see that uh, just display a different state of the TCP connection and the the, the two ends of the connection address and the port, and uh, this trace is from which CPU and the sequence number, something like this. So this information is very, very useful to, when, when we debug some uh, network problem, especially on performance or some uh, bug in the uh, protocol stack. Very interesting. Uh, and uh, the code can be found from the GitHub don't need to remember the address, just the Google SKB trees. You can find the code. It's interesting, and uh, we use it internally. Uh, the kernel maintainers' um, feedback is uh, just uh, working more time that we can make sure you are willing to maintain the code. Uh, then we, we will think about and merge it. Okay, so <coughs> right now it's uh, our contribute back to kernel community, because all patches sent out for review and the comments, and the, some patches get merged into upstream. Uh, we, are, we are kind of very active in EST4 and uh, C group development, and uh, some patches also get merged into a Red Hat kernel. Uh, I tried, I tried to promote, to persuade people to use the uh, SUSE kernel. Uh, firstly, when I joined this company, I find it's very hard, even for Red Hat kernel, it's very hard. Why? Because there are some machines running online for more than three years. If they want to update the kernel, they need to reboot the machine. Most of machine may, I, I see that um, some machine just reboot, they will not reboot anymore. The model is, uh, this machine, uh, this machine is just online with some application, and uh, the power on. They run for more than three years, maybe four years. When the life cycle, when the life cycle of the application ends, the life cycle of the machine ends. During the life cycle, they never change the hardware. They never change the the library or kernel. Yeah. So since. Uh, 2637, mm, there are patches from top of merged into upstream. We can see that uh, in these uh, versions, we contribute uh, to upstream more than 160 patches. Uh, here's the picture from uh, a, a, a Kernel patches stat statistic uh, website are very interesting. That uh, maybe every several months, I use this picture to tell the boss of my boss and my boss that uh, it's good, it's uh, valuable to invest uh, to a kernel development team. The left one is the, the patch number, and the, the, the right one is the line of uh, the, the code of the patch. From the picture, we can see that uh, right now, just uh, in the past two years, uh, we, we just start to send out patches uh, two years, comparing all other company or other group uh, universities in past six, six years. Right now, we, uh, we just around 120, yeah, 120, maybe sometimes 120, maybe sometimes 115 number in the world. So, Right now, it's, this is the most active record for all the company inside China. Uh, the purpose for we send out the patches is not we want to make more patches, just we want to keep less in-house patches so we can reduce the effort when they rebase the patches, uh, when, the kernel update, uh, when the kernel version update. But that's very interesting, some people see that uh, uh, good. Some people in inside China 
say good. And some other company said, we have more money than Taobao. And we have more people than Taobao. Why we have not so much patches as Taobao in kernel? So they decide to invest the kernel team too. Uh, so right now, not only Taobao contribute to kernel, other, many other big local companies start to contribute to uh, patches to kernel, including Tencent, Baidu, uh, Huawei. So yeah, that, that's good. Just two years ago, I, I just left the social labs and joined this company, just want to make a little change to persuade uh, and uh, persuade and encourage people locally to contribute to join the kernel community. So right now, I can see something really happens. It works. And, uh, and uh, the company also sponsors some uh, community conference. The first one is uh, CLSF. CLSF is uh, something similar to LSF. Uh, the story back to 2009, year 2009. Because uh, the financial risk, uh, we have no money to, to send people to America. And uh, we found that there are a lot of people in China working on file system and uh, memory management. So we organized a conference called the CLSF. C means China, China Linux Storage and the File System Workshop. So this year is a, it's a first time for us to hold this uh, uh, conference. And the second one is the CLK. CLK is a China Linux kernel development conference. And uh, the first one is sponsored by my current employer, uh, Alipay.com. Alipay is uh, another business group, uh, just the uh, same as uh, Tobo.com and another is, uh, is another business group, uh, just uh, under the Alibaba group. Uh, the second one is sponsored by Taobao.com. Okay. So we are still very active in some local community events. So what, back to the topic, what we learn from OpenSUSE? In my humble opinion, first is open and corporate. We just release all our projects information on the website kernel.taobao.com. I'm sorry that it, it's in Chinese because most of the reader are Chinese people. And uh, all patches we just uh, opened on a Git tree. Yeah. This is just uh, one month late after uh, our internal product kernel because we need to do enough tests. But people can have a uh, all the patches uh, and the commit log for why we add these patches uh, from the website. Because we have uh, quite a big test bed that's a lot of machine to test. So the output of this uh, kernel tree is uh, reliable. In my humble opinion, it's reliable. Also, in every quarter, we have an internal performance review conference. Uh, every time it, it, we invite a different, uh, maybe same uh, community member to join us, uh, give us uh, comments, what we do uh, correct or incorrect, and uh, people from uh, company out of this company, uh, people from community out of this company also learn a lot, uh, interesting workload uh, for the online machines. And we also adopt and test non-upstream patches in the real workload. One is uh, NetOps from Google. This, this patch is very useful that we can gather the uh, OOPS information from the network to a dedicated uh, log server. Another KGTP is a kernel GDB trace point. It's very, use, uh, very useful trace uh, tools for us to especially debug some deadlock. Very useful. Okay, this is, this is very familiar if people work in open source kernel tree. The Taobao kernel tree just organized the, the, the structure from the, the learn from the open source kernel tree. We have a patches.taobao, patches.driver, 
in a script. Within the script uh, uh, directory, we can find out there are some uh, similar names, sequence patches, log, package, VC, a lot of familiar names from OpenSUSE and the SUSE kernel. We, we, we just use it. It's, it's very helpful for us, for us to just uh, organize the patches and uh, integrate the kernel tree into the internal uh, package delivery system. And OBS. So right now we are trying to use the open build service to build the whole operating system from source code. Uh, it works. But right now uh, the whole system is still in their testing and evaluation. Okay, the last page for the summary. So Taobao becomes more and more active in Linux kernel community. And uh, knowledge learned from open source engineering spread to China, local company, and a positive impact happens. More and more China local company join open source communities where more encouraged from a community is uh, appreciated. Yeah, sometimes because some, some, some barrier for language or some culture, maybe people can find some ugly patches sent from uh, some local company. Please give us some more encouragement. They will improve, we will improve. And thanks to open source community, uh, we learn how to maintain kernel patches and uh, cooperate with uh, Linux kernel community better and the better. That's all, thank you. Okay, does someone have a question? Okay, so thank you very much for your talk and uh, we'll see each other in five minutes on the next one. Thank you very much. Thanks.